In today's video, I am going to do my fascia release for tight arm. I'm going to focus on biceps brachii. When this part gets shortened, that inhibits movement of shoulder. It of course inhibits movement of elbow, but the fibers of biceps brachii crosses shoulder like this. They attach to scapula. Thus, tightness of biceps inhibits shoulder movement. This muscle is ignored for shoulder movement, but it's for, it's so important. When tendon of biceps is ruptured, that decreases shoulder movement a lot. This is upper part of biceps. The tendency is when this part gets tight, that tendency is bring shoulder flexion. It's like this way. That may put humerus this way. Again, the, these fibers attached to scapula, they may bring humerus this way. Upper part is very tight. And I check tension of triceps. Part of triceps also attaches to scapula. Again, then when triceps gets tight, that inhibits shoulder movement. Biceps and triceps are famous for elbow movement. However, they are also important for shoulder movement. I feel his shoulder tension is decreasing. That is because his biceps and triceps is getting loosened. It's getting good flexibility. Nice. And I see uh, there's less tension around shoulder and I see his arm is very relaxed now. In this video, I worked for biceps mainly and triceps. Again, they cross shoulder, thus when this, these guys get tight, that blocks shoulder movement. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.